Good morning, everybody. I'd like to introduce Chief David Smith and Mayor Malik Evans to discuss uh, last night's incident on Bauman Street. Just in advance, this is going to be a statement from both the Chief and the Mayor. We will answer questions as the day goes on, as we have more information. So at this point, we'll be releasing statements only, and then as we more, have more information, we'll release that information. Yesterday morning, outside City Hall, after doing a media event around 11 a.m., I was asked by a reporter, how dangerous is it out there for the officers of the Rochester Police Department? My response to him was that every day, the men and women of this department leave home, not knowing if they're going to return to see their families at the end of their shift. Ten hours later, Officer Anthony Mizerkowitz, a father, a husband, and a 29-year veteran of the Rochester Police Department was killed in the line of duty on Bauman Street while in service to our community. Last night, Officer Mizerkowitz and his partner, Officer Sino Seng, were attacked in a cowardly ambush and fell victim to the very violence in our community that we are trying to combat. Officer Mazurkowitz was shot at least once in the upper body. He was transported to Strong Hospital where, despite heroic efforts, he passed away. Officer Seng, an eight-year veteran of the Rochester Police Department, was shot at least once in the lower body and taken to Rochester General Hospital. Thankfully, he was treated, released, and is now recuperating from his injuries at home with his wife and children. In addition, during this attack, a female bystander was also struck by gunfire and treated for non-life-threatening injuries. During this incident, the full force of this region's law enforcement responded to the scene. And I would like to thank the United States Marshal Service, ATF, the New York State Police, New York State Parole, the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, the Monroe County District Attorney's Office, Monroe County Probation, Town of Greece Police, the Town of Arondequoit Police, the Town of Gates Police, the Town of Brighton Police, the Town of Webster Police, the Village of East Rochester Police, and any other agency that responded to assist. This same full force is being utilized to bring whoever is responsible for this heinous act to justice. This is an ongoing investigation, and updates will be provided as they become available. As we speak, it is worth remembering that the brave men and women of the Rochester Police Department are right now continuing to protect our community, despite this horrific and shocking loss to our family. Mayor. Thank you, Chief. Today is a sad day for our community. This is a nightmare for any family. But it's punctuated even harder when that person is a police officer and you know every day there's a chance that that kiss you give your loved one could be the last one. Tony Mazurkowitz and Sino Sang were out yesterday trying to combat the very violence and carnage that I and the Chief have talked about over the last six months. Tony Mazurkowitz could have said, hey, I got 20 years in, I'm out of here. It's getting more violent, it's getting more brazen, the rhetoric is hotter, but he chose to still go on the streets because he didn't want folks in our neighborhoods to be hostage, to be held hostage to the very cowards that are wreaking havoc in our community. Not only am I sad 
for the Mazurkowitz family, and we pray for the speedy recovery of Sino Sang. I am angry and upset because all too often we are seeing over and over again blatant disregard for life, be it an old lady sitting on the porch or a 10-year-old girl braiding her grandmother's hair, and now an officer in the line of duty working to keep our city safe. I want to offer again my prayers to the family, all of the men and women of the police department in our city. During the time when I stopped by the hospital and were at the crime scene, there were officers still out offering call, answering calls, even though they knew that two of their colleagues were wounded. Even now, they're out answering calls. I want to thank again all of our partners. We are going to need to lean on our partners even more. And they have been great. The chief named them, U.S. Marshals, State Police, County, all the towns, all the people, partners in government that have reached out. I thank you. But we need your assistance. This is an ongoing investigation, and anyone that saw anything, you need to speak up. Now is your time to speak up. It was Tony Mazurkowitz today, but it could be any of us in this room tomorrow. This is a clearing call for this community to speak up. I'm going to ask the media for your patience. I'm going to ask the community for your, for your patience. I'm going to ask that you not speculate. I'm going to ask that you not that you give the family the space, that you give the men and women of the Rochester Police Department the space that they need as they grieve this horrific tra tragedy. We will have updates throughout the day. I, I, know, I know everyone has lots of answers and questions, but this is a very active, large-scale investigation, and the chief and his team and all of our partners need the space to be able to complete this investigation, and as we get information, we will give it out. But I need to really ask for patience for respect to the family. But even more importantly, I ask that you keep this family in prayer and that you keep all of their colleagues in prayer. The mental health and safety of our officers is one of my top priorities as well as the chief. Again, my deepest condolences to the family, Tony Mazurkowitz, and Godspeed for the speedy recovery of Sino Stang. Please pray for our city and our country as we go through this very, very difficult time. Thank you.